Dragon's Dogma 2 is getting closer and closer to release, and that's bringing a lot of hype, but in all that hype I see some things being said that are simply not true, so I want to talk about what kind of game Dragon's Dogma 2 actually is so that people know what they're getting into and don't end up disappointed. First of all, I've seen too many people comparing this game to Skyrim, or that kind of RPG, and that's just not the case. Dragon's Dogma is not the kind of game that's going to have you reading books or solving many problems through dialogue. You aren't going to be performing a variety of skills like blacksmithing, sneaking, thieving. You probably aren't going to have too many branching or game-changing decisions to make. This is a game that's focused almost entirely on combat. And that brings us to the next misconception, that Dragon's Dogma resembles a Souls-like. Well, it makes more sense than the Skyrim comparison, but it's still just wrong. Third-person camera, big monsters, and a fantasy setting are about all this game has in common with the likes of Elden Ring. Combat in Dragon's Dogma is way different, and it actually plays much more like a tactical RPG. You aren't rolling around dodging the boss over and over and whittling down its health. Based on your class, you might not even be able to dodge. This game doesn't use standardized movements and stats like a Souls game. Everything from your basic attacks to your stats and the abilities you can equip is based on your class. And that's why the name of this game is really building your party to most effectively be able to take advantage of your enemy's unique weaknesses. That might mean a knight distracting the enemy while a rogue climbs onto its back, or maybe a mage binds it in place so a ranger can fire a shot at its weak spot. Now keep in mind as well that this is not actually a tactical RPG, you won't be able to pause and issue commands or examine your enemies for more info. There will probably be a bestiary that you can consult after the fact, and one of the coolest features of Dragon's Dogma is that the pawns you fight with can tell you about enemies and their weaknesses in real time if they've fought them before. Because you hire other people's pawns, so if that player has made more progress in the game, chances are their pawn can teach you a thing or two. That also extends to quests and general information about the world. This game is going to lack a lot of the guidance that you get in other games, things like quest markers, but that's by design because the pawns are supposed to be there for you as guides and sources of knowledge. It's really a cool system that makes it feel less like a game and more like an actual immersive experience. Now, pawns are cool and all, but this isn't Baldur's Gate 3 either. Don't be expecting interesting personalities or deep connections with them. They aren't really companions in the traditional sense, they're honestly more like robots that are there to guide you and help you fight. So if you're still kind of thinking, well it's not like any of those games, what is it? That's the thing, this game isn't exactly like any other game, except for its predecessor of course. It's a pretty unique experience that may seem a little weird at first, but once you get into it you really appreciate what it is and the way it switches up from some of the overdone formulas that games follow. If you're really into games with a lot of depth outside of combat, this might not be the game for you, but if you want a unique, highly focused combat system, diverse classes, lots of cool weapons and armor, a solid fantasy setting, and an overall well-made game, then you're going to want to check this out. And that's that, so I hope this helps if you are still trying to gather a little more of what this game is and isn't about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.